Oh my god, you almost got smoked. So if you're wondering why we have dark circles under our eyes, it was a very late night. Early morning. But we're here. What's up everyone? I'm Justin with Is It Scary Wisconsin, joined by my best friend Gage and his girlfriend Jenna. We're here tonight reviewing The Burial Chamber in 2022 in Enoch, I think? Yeah. Yeah, Nina. Cool. <clears throat> so, if you haven't been to The Burial Chamber before, you should go. It is fun, and I think you'll enjoy it. That being said, I think we all have some things we want to share about the event itself. So, uh, Gage, I'm going to let you <clears throat> open up, and I am going to let you talk about your thoughts. Burial Chamber 2022, go! Burial Chamber 2022. So, was it busy? Yes. Is Fast Pass worth it? Yes. If you're going to buy the Fast Pass, buy it online. We highly encourage that because all you have to do is get in the line, the online queue, and just give them a number and bing, bang, boom, you're good to go. Um, uh, going through Burial Chamber, uh, there were plenty of times where I'm like, I this wasn't scary at all. I. I, the only scare I had was personally myself because I thought I saw something, but it wasn't something. That's the only time I was really, oh shit, these people have something else to say about that. I, this is my own personal view on it. I had zero scares on there because when they were putting us into haunts, they were just hurting us all up, all up like cattle. Now, I understand because they were extremely busy that night, so I guess there's something to be said about that, but... We're going through this haunt. We're having like 30 people, a line of 30, 20 to 30 people going through this haunt. And uh, I'm hearing scares already happening ahead of me. So I know what to expect. I know what's coming. And when it happens, I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, hi, hello. Scariness, none. It was it was non-existent to me. So was it we, fun? If we, have yes. to do, if we have to do a score out of 100 for scary, so we do scares, scenery, sounds, what would you say... Uh, for and actors yeah but mm -hmm. we'll, you know, we'll get to that sure what would you say overall was the scares out of 100 for scares out of 100 i'd have to give it a 20 now that's coming from a guy like said who you know desensitized to it we had a group behind us who were great people by the way they were awesome they were Man, we didn't have any douchebags we year. didn't have any douchebags behind us like we did last time these guys were cool and like they were terrified of this stuff in which you know us being avid haunt goers it's just normal it's just normal as showbiz for us so, a lot of those scares didn't affect us. So, I mean, you know, to each their own cup of tea, but for someone who's been in multiple haunts, that wasn't really scary because you can expect it and you hear it coming. To be fair, uh, to Burial Chamber, to be fair, if we were going through as like a group of three or a group of four, it probably would have been really good. Maybe even a group of ten? Okay. Yeah, maybe even a group of ten, five people, and five people. Yes. So, when you put 20 to 30 people through any of the haunts at Burial Chamber, they suck. It's not opinion. They suck. Mm -hmm. Jenna, go ahead. Your thoughts on Burial Chamber. Uh, and I, then your score out of 100 for scares. Just for scares? Yep, for now. Um, I, I did get scared a couple times um, in the house and in the woods, mostly the jump scares. The house you're referring to is, of course, uh, adrenaline. Adrenaline under yeah. attack. Yes. Yep. Um, I got some jump scares. The thing is, you're all single file, so... I mean, you can see a few people ahead of you and whatever scares them. The timing is going to be whatever works for the actors. And mm -hmm. there are things that are going to scare people a couple couple people ahead mm -hmm. of you or a couple people behind you, but not necessarily you. I know there were some that got people that would usually get me, but the timing was off, so I didn't get the scare that I was, Just so I remember. That I was looking for. Um, that being said, I still got some jump scares. I'd have to give it a, a 50. I'd say if we were in a smaller group, yeah, I know I would have gotten a lot more. But I mm -hmm. think just with how many people are in there, it's hard for the actors to know like what person to to really scare or mm -hmm. how often to time out the scares. That's hard. I think at that point, <clears throat> I think something can be said about the atmosphere for the haunts at. Um, <clears throat> burial chamber outside of the outdoor one what is that called oh, phobia no. outside of phobia i believe sending too many people through ruins the atmosphere phobia has a naturally creepy atmosphere because it's at night it's in the dark and it's outside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. anything can still happen mm -hmm. <clears throat> so out of 100 you're a 50 mm -hmm. okay 
So I would say, yeah, I would say overall, when we when we first walked out of Adrenaline, I turned to Gage and I said, scares 20, scenery 100, sound 90. And uh, <clears throat> so I'll keep it to scares for now because some of that changed. The scares for the Adrenaline with the mm -hmm. amount of people they were pumping through were... It was a baseball. A, were a 20. It was a huge miss because there was no atmosphere. Uh, you cannot send 20 to 30 people through and have them all bounding up right behind each other. You need to let them go in groups. Even if it's with 15 seconds in between groups of people, you cannot have them catching each other. Mm -hmm. It just ruins the atmosphere. Again, what can they really do about it when they're that busy? I don't know. I don't know, but they have to figure something out because it killed the atmosphere and it killed what could have been some incredible scares for sure in Adrenaline. Um, do you guys want to talk about each of the three that we did or do you guys just want to do it overall? I just wanted to say, fair note, we didn't do the hunt. We didn't feel like that was worth the no. time. We, now, we don't know, we've never experienced it. If you guys liked it, feel free to comment about it below. We'd love to hear about it because I don't really want to do something, especially because... We'll touch more about it later. We were kind of on time. We we're, were straight on time. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, yeah, Phobia, that was that was a fun one. <clears throat> I felt like Phobia, for the, for the night and for, what they, for how they were feeding the groups, I felt like Phobia was the best event. Mm -hmm. And I felt like Phobia is in the best position to succeed. It is also the only event out of everything we went to, including Spooks on Spur that night, that actually got a holy shit scare out of me. And everybody saw Definitely. me jump back. Everybody saw me go, whoa! I, the, the actor, some of the actors in the woods are fantastic. You guys know who you are. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. The fact that I was already tired as it was. And I was walking through phobia going, come on, come on, come on. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden whoa right in my face mm -hmm. and it was good and it was well done well positioned so my my phobia score i guess scares are more in that 70 to 80 range uh again scenery you know you gotta i guess you've gotta be able to imagine a little bit since it's so dark out there but they do a, they have a lot of structures out on that trail Scenery's probably more of an 80 or a 90, and the sounds out there on the trail are awesome. A solid, solid 100 on the trail. I really, really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenna, your thoughts on Phobia? I like the trails um, more so than the house. I like the outdoor atmosphere because it does have more of a, a creepy vibe to it because it's nature yeah they build stuff out there and they have actors out there but also if you hear like a crack in the woods that could be an animal you don't know um, but i love the sounds solid 100 i agree um i like the structures and the scenery you can tell they put in a lot of time to it and um make it look nice but also creepy um i remember last year it was the first year that i had gone through phobia and I was scared out of my mind for so long. I was mm -hmm. hiding in Gage's Yeah, that was sleeve. funny. Yeah. That was funny to like, watch. I was so scared. This year, I guess I knew what to expect a little more or just going through more haunts. And and okay. you had just gone through uh, Revenge by yourself like the night before. Yeah, you? yeah. <laughs> but just knowing what to expect and know where to look to anticipate certain scares, I guess. That's why it didn't get me as bad as last year. Sure. Um, I know with the, the people behind us, there was one actor who last year would have gotten me so good. This year didn't as much, which is okay, but it, the scare factor was still there. Like I still jump a little bit. Um, scare rating, probably 75. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. Gage, phobia. Uh, do you want to write down our scores here so we can no. kind of average it out? Or no. you can do it in your head. <laughs> um, phobia. You know, I had to say the same thing. 20. I just, I just wasn't scared. I'm hearing things ahead of me. It's, it's ruining it for me. I know something's coming. I got it behind me. 
and it's just it's not scary to me especially also to the fact that we had kids behind us singing stupid songs now, that's not in any fault of Burial Chamber, and that's not affecting my score regarding the scare factor. It's just it really ruins it. But um, regarding, like I said, I'm hearing things ahead of me. I, I know it's coming now. It ruins it for me. So, again, 20. I think, I think with you, I think in a haunt for you, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm not. I think your biggest thing is atmosphere. And when the haunt misses the atmosphere... It basically ruins the whole show for you. It, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, atmosphere Definitely. for you is it important. Keep, it keeps me into it. So, are we? Do you want to discuss atmosphere regarding? Yeah. So again, you know, like I said previously in this video, like I said, basically been saying the whole time, the atmosphere when you have twenty to thirty people, whether it's high school students shouting stupid shit, trying to act cool for their girlfriends, or trying to act like they're not scared. Remember, we said don't act like these guys in a haunt. I ain't afraid of shit, bro. You know, and then I don't want to be here and all that other stuff. It's, the atmosphere is so important, right? And you might think, oh, you know, this is really creepy to me. But, you know, now I'm being loud and obnoxious and I'm ruining the atmosphere for these other people in my group. And I think we had, I think we did have a little bit of that happening in Phobia, for sure. And maybe even at times in uh, Adrenaline. That being said, I think, atmosphere is the number one place where burial chamber must improve for seasons going forward before i can recommend that everybody rush out and spend you know whatever we spend 61 or 62 dollars on on three event tickets that's expensive it is that's expensive and it's for me if i'm paying 61 dollars us well, we had a group of five us five should have gone through the event alone with nobody else in there you know like we paid top dollar and we didn't get top dollar treatment they're literally hurting people through the like cattle. That's not because of reviewers. That's I'm saying anyone. Anyone yeah. who paid that high amount should, you know, yeah. they paying top dollar. Yeah, like, and, and, and when I say I'm, I'm also speaking for you guys as well, the haunt goer. Like, you should get that premium treatment. Like, I spent $62 on burial chamber. Well, it's not that much money. It's a lot of money. D it, yeah. Especially like, when you're going to multiple haunts. Yeah, like for $62, <laughs> I should be going through first or with only my group of people and there should be no other customers interfering with my experience i understand as a businessman myself that that is going to be incredibly difficult to achieve when burial chamber is that busy to which i say it might be time for you to restrict ticketing and turn to timed ticketing you may need to restrict how many tickets you sell per hour and how many people you allow in per hour at the event that's why i appreciate you having having you on here considering that you have a business standpoint to it as well because yeah. jen and i we're just a hong aspect we that's all that we really yeah, see it's, you being business you you pick up on that yeah and it's again i don't know if it's something that they're just going to be able to say well fuck it this is how we're going to do it I don't know what the solution is, but I know the right solution is not what they're doing now. Because mm -hmm. what they're doing now is uh, not working for the quality of the haunt. It, it almost feels like a point where it's just a cash grab. It but really does. You, we say cash grab, right? Mm -hmm. When you say cash grab, that has a lot of baggage. But... It kind of is, mm -hmm. right? 30 people through at a time. It's a hell of it. So if they like it or enjoy it, we don't care. We've got I, another group coming. And, you know, I get it. You're busy. But we shouldn't be saying like 30 or so people at a time. 10, 15, maybe. Honestly, 12 max. I paid $61. I want the experience. I want the premium experience. And if you're paying that kind of money, you should too. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about it. Uh, we have scares. I think we were all kind of... A 20 range. 20 to 50-ish range. Phobia was a little bit better, except for you. Mm -hmm. And I understand your gripes. Trust me. Uh, you know, the sounds... I thought the sounds were excellent. Okay. Yeah. I like the sounds in the distance because it makes me go, ooh, what's that? It's like when we go to Realm of Darkness and you hear that thing at the end. You're like, what the hell is that, bro? Mm -hmm. Like, But again, 
Atmosphere is so important because with the wrong atmosphere, it can ruin that too. Mm-hmm. So sounds, one sounds, thing. sounds I'm in love with, man. I thought they were great, but, but, I understand where you're coming from. One thing about that too, going into adrenaline, they did advertise it as a sensory overload, yeah. and it was. It is. It was too much sounds, and that you know that's fine. That's what they literally advertise. Um, for sounds, you know, but the problem was the sounds of it was drills on metal, nonstop drills on metal, or and it's just it it's call it a sensory overload if you want, but I don't want to have my ears ringing. I want to actually hear haunt. I mean, actors go boo or jump out at me. I want to hear that, but I can't when I'm hearing ah bang 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 bang, and I'm hearing and air is being shot in my face. I'm like I. I would just appreciate it if I can kind of enjoy an actor's, you know, scare. Um, so I did like the lights that they used. I the lights were did, great. I thought, like, the disco lights for scenery. in some of those rooms were really good. You mm -hmm. know, even for as sensitive as I can be, you know, in my old age, for as sensitive as my eyes are becoming, I enjoyed, like, the little sparkly flicker lights. I thought that was super cool. Um, I thought they made good use of lighting, and I thought, I thought they had a good look to most of the rooms. You know, and even some of the sensory overload is okay, but like you're saying, constant, 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 constant. It starts to border on actual stupidity after a while to the point to where it's like, you're just being annoying. It was it was getting kind of boring after a while hearing these nonstop sounds. Yeah. Um, now, going into phobia, I want, I want to put all my scores into one. I don't want to just kind of separate my house. This is going to be a long video. Um, I, if we're talking, um, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, yeah. Sounds. You know, phobia... Yeah, you hear that you hear them screaming in the distance. That does kind of add to it too, and I guess that kind of does bump it up a little bit. But phobia sets up the right atmosphere for they that. Do at bro. They do set it up. So right, for, Jenna. I like the sounds in phobia better. Yeah, for sounds, all overall, it's a fifty, for me. The whole haunt. The, the phobia really set that up, but then adrenaline really kind of brings it down with this nonstop, you know, ear bleeding mute sound. Yeah, stuff. no, you're right. It really ruined it for me. So, um, I have to get 50 on sounds. Scares, sounds, anything else you want to add, Jen? Are we going to talk about Tramp? At some point. Okay. Then we're gonna talk it's about kind it. of like a, a plane through experience, so I mean, we'll just get the haunts first. So. Okay. Um, sounds for Phobia, 100. I loved it. Um, sounds for Adrenaline, probably 75. But maybe that's what they're going for, too, with the sensory overload. I get it. I think after a while, my ears just were done. We're sick of it. Mm -hmm. Especially um, for 20 minutes straight of it. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. How about the scenery? You know, as much as I wanted to come on here and totally shit on adrenaline, which I don't actually think adrenaline is that good, especially with the crap atmosphere they had, mm -hmm. the actual scenery in adrenaline it's good. is wonderful. Like... The scenery's like a 90 for me. Yeah. It looks great. It's beat up. It's ripped apart. It's dug out. It's dirt floors. It's cement mm -hmm. floors. It's it's rebar. It's concrete. It's jail cells. It's, it's freaking wire mesh. I mean, you can tell they put some time into that. And you can tell that even if they do use a lot of the same stuff every year, which in certain cases is acceptable, when it's actually good and scary... Sometimes, depending on atmosphere, the a the actual look inside of adrenaline is solid. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought the scenery at Phobia, I'll hit them both in mine and then you guys can both go, mm -hmm. I thought the scenery at Phobia was wonderful. Mm -hmm. I thought they were both top tier look-wise, but you need to have your scenery, your sounds, and your scares all hitting on all cylinders to have the full experience. And for me, on this night, it just didn't do it. That's okay, though, because there's way... This could have been a lot worse, I felt, personally. Gage, scenery, phobia, and adrenaline. Here's the deal with scenery. I'm getting another a tear in the Fox flashback here. It looks great. It looks fantastic. I loved it. It always looks it always looks phenomenal. And it's always a treat to behold when you're looking at all the cool different like skulls in the walls or the different design stuff. But here's the thing. How many of that have I seen again over and over and over? Yeah. That's just that's too much. 
and it's that really ruins it for me. Scenery, yes, it looks great, but if I'm seeing the same thing over and over again, I want something new. I want something fresh. So for scenery, this goes with phobia as well. It, it now looks great. Um, they did a great job ten years ago. You know when they first made it. <laughs> I shouldn't say I shouldn't bash them like That's that. That's a good joke though. But anyways, hey, for my rating for scenery, I'd I'd have to give it a fifty because they hit. I think it's fair. If they're hitting on how great it looks. But they're not changing much at all. And if they did change, please let us know. Because I, I can't notice it. I'd have to give it a 50 out of 100 for both putting those together. Phobia and Adrenaline. Thanks, Mike. Jenna? Um, I liked the scenery. I thought it was really good. You can tell they put a lot of work into it. And just having different rooms. Um, I'd say 90 for both of them. I thought they were good. Yeah. Yeah. My, my one concern... Is that long term it becomes a okay? We have our room set. We're never going to change them, which we'll see next year how much they change, really. But my concern is that we have our room set. We're never going to change them. Now we just herd these fuckers through, get their thirty dollars or twenty five dollars. That's what it's feeling like. Them. That's so why I'm that is my concern so that, it, that over the next couple of years we won't see much for changes. Can I add one other thing? You know Go for it. Um, the people that were behind us were very fun. Um, I was. Very entertained the entire time through um, adrenal adrenaline just from hearing their reactions. That kept the me going too. That yes. kind of did. The entertainment factor was there from that, though I wish I got some of the screens. I bet they definitely would get us a better review if they were on here. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But well, let's talk yeah. about the actors. So we had, um, I mean, there were plenty of actors in Phobia. I thought it was a little bit phoned in, in Adrenaline. There was a lot of empty rooms. Um, you know, you're one of the biggest haunts in Wisconsin. I don't accept the understaffed excuse. I didn't accept the not ready excuse. You guys know you're going to be busy. I expect you to be prepared for this. Um, so I did think that Adrenaline was probably about three-quarter actor capacity. Mm -hmm. And Phobia was good. Phobia was very good. Had a, had a good pacing to it. Actors, for me, were about an 80 overall between the two events. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really walk out of there and go, were there any actors in there? But I did walk out of Adrenaline and think to myself, there could have been another 8 to 12 actors in Adrenaline. Easily. Mm -hmm. Easily. Jenna, actors between the two events. Um, I agree. 80. Yeah. Yeah. I think the ones in the uh, phobia just get me a little better just because there's more space for them to hide. Mm -hmm. Where when you're going through adrenaline, you just have the narrow hallways that you're all just in a line filing through. So there are only so many other places for the actors to go. So you can see them kind of ahead of time. But with phobia, it's just more. And it's dark, so it's, there's more for them to hide with. Mm -hmm. Sure. Cage, actors. Actors, uh, you know, they're the ones that really kind of kept me engaged throughout of it. They're, they're a big, important part of a haunted house, and without them, it's not a haunted house, if you ask me. Um, well, it's because it's not. Therefore. <laughs> without the actors, it would literally. suck. Literally. Uh, well, I don't know. If throw a bunch of artificial scares in there, that seems to work for some haunts. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up. Anyways, you know, they had their actors are great. Uh, but the problem you know, was, he was telling they us were about insanity the other night, and we just don't have to hear the same story again. I would never mentioned <laughs> anything about insanity. You let me just note that. Um, you made me lose my train of thought there. Come on, man. Actors. Actors. You know How they can make it good. They they make it good. The problem was is that you know this plays in the fact that we're still being herded in there all the time. So I I hear actors like all the way down the line there. Um, uh, from what the actors had to work with. They did great, um, it's just, but it just felt lackluster because there were some rooms where I feel like I'm walking through hallways and stuff. I'm not seeing anything. There were a lot of empty rooms, and as you said, it's a big, well-known haunt in Wisconsin. And you can't tell me that no one knows about you and you can't get actors in there because, believe me, there you, you got to have some people coming through there and be like, we can, we'll can, we help out and stuff like that, or we'll, we'll hire you. But, yeah, actors, for as well as they did, they're probably the best mark of this. I have to give an 80 as well. Hey, can I tell you guys that I love the merch? Mm -hmm. It looks so nice. Gage, can you show that shirt off? So, shirts, Damn, you know, merch. Bro. Is there going to be a link in the description of this review? There's a link down in the description. Yeah, girl, that hoodie looks so nice on you. 
face. And that cat hair adds a really nice touch. I think it might be feathers from my coat as well. <laughs> well, either way. It was a chilly weekend. So. Chilly weekend. Grab yourself some sweaters. Hell yeah. 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 Links yeah. in the description. Get you some merch. Uh, let's talk really quick about. Uh, Did Jenna do her actors? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I let's didn't talk. Click. Let's talk really quick about uh, Trapped. Mm -hmm. It is their revamped Buried Alive simulator. I'm literally going to say nothing else, except if you have the opportunity, you should go through it, because it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I I think that was the only time, and like we're waiting in line, and I'm excited. Yeah. I'm getting ready for it. Because we I'm knew excited. what it was going to be. It was the exact same thing as it last was. year. And we still loved it. And we still loved it. Because we, you know, I mean, it's not like we're going through it like nine times a season. Mm -hmm. You know, once a year is probably good for that. That's, it, the, yeah. It's good. That statement kind of worries me, though, is that it's the same thing over and over. It is going to get old, but for the first couple of years, it's fun. Yeah. I'd like to see something change. And it's soon, cool to but. see, like, we had our friend Brienne with us. It was really cool to see her reaction to it. She was giggling and laughing the whole time. Mm -hmm. And she, re she really liked it. Even Sadie, uh, your sister, and she's, I think she's my age. I'm a little bit older than you guys. And her and I were both laughing and having a good time with it, too. So it's cool to Fun see all it across the age gaps. It's really cool to see how different people react to it. Mm -hmm. Jenna, did you like it? Loved it. I look forward to that one. I'm glad we got to do it last. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so rep and... So MVP actor, I know you want to have, what are they, MVA, and Most Valuable Actor? Most Valuable Actor. My all Most right. Valuable Actor. All right. Most Valuable Actor. So I fit in and he doesn't get mad at me. Go ahead. I think you and I can both say who we think. Um, because of the fact that we felt like hurdle, I mean, cattle, cattle being herded through a lot of it, it, we couldn't really form a connection with a lot of actors on the haunts. But the one we could was the one interested in a line. And that one was the one going into phobia. Guy with the bucket on, blue and goldish yeah. bucket on your head doing the shadow puppets with me. You were awesome. He was so much fun. Yeah. And he was, he was just chill. You know, it was a great time. He has got to be my MV. MVA. Most, most valuable. valuable. Wow, actually. trips across the board. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in conclusion for Burial Chamber 2022, it is a lot of more of the same if you've been there in years past. However, if you are looking for a fun weekend, something, fun, to, yes. do, something to do with... Yeah, yeah, was it fun? It, it was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Was it fun, Josie? Yes, it was. Was it scary? That's up to the person. Yeah, the That's viewers, you tell us. First of all, if you've been to Burial Chamber this year, your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed the honest Haunted House breakdown and review from actual customers yeah. that paid real money for the event. Yeah. We would tell you if we get free tickets. And we will see you right here next time. Have a good night. It's a scary Wisconsin. We got to get that in there. <sighs> Buy his merch. It's right down there in the links. Yep. Uh.